Hi, this is Sheree with Rehash Fiber. Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can fix an itchy sweater. Now as fiber artists, as we process the fiber and uh, make our own sweaters, there is a couple things we can do first. First of all, it's your wool. If you choose a sheep that is known to be softer and finer, that will help. The other thing is if you're spinning locks, spin butt to tip, that helps. And then my personal thing that I feel does help is to spin thin. I don't know, it just feels like if you spin thin, more of the fibers are captured, less have chance to poke out. I don't know, but that's what I do. So even if that doesn't work and it's still itchy, I have a remedy. And I was thinking about this the other day when I was applying fiber and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I have an idea of the sweater I want to make and I just hope I can make a comfortable sweater. And then I thought about this technique I did back when. I actually, I bought a sweater because these colors were so cool. It's machine manufactured, but I had to have it. I was like, wow, that's really cool. Look at all the really neat colors and everything. And it's just really fun. So I got it and I was so disappointed because it was so itchy. No matter what I wore underneath it, it was driving me bonkers. That's when I did my research. And I found an article, and it's not hard. If you go on and Google how to fix an itchy sweater, this will come up. But I'm gonna share it with you now because it really does work. The article was titled, How to Fix an Itchy Sweater, and it's by Alyssa Goodman. And step by step, I did it. First, you wanna turn it inside out and put it in a sink of cold water with a few tablespoons of vinegar in it and get it completely soaked. Then when you drain it, you take good quality hair conditioner. This was expensive, an expensive bottle, and it was good quality. If you use the cheap stuff, it may put a waxy buildup on your sweater. And the only thing I have to recommend is this has a coconut smell to it, and that coconut smell stuck with this for a very long time and I didn't like the smell. So maybe you want to get a smell that you know you're going to like or unscented. Then you massage the conditioner into the sweater all over. I do believe I did inside and out. It was covered. And then you let it sit for 30 minutes. Then you rinse it and you pat it dry with towels. Then you let it dry completely. Then when it is dry, you fold it up and put it into a plastic bag and put it in the freezer overnight. And you know what? It worked. It made this sweater very wearable. I cannot wear it over like a t-shirt because I still can feel a little bit, but it's not bad. But I usually wear a long sleeve t-shirt or more, whatever, under this, and I love it. And I will wear it all winter long. I just love the pops of color. I love that it's now comfortable. And that is how you can solve it. So for the yarn that I'm plying and the sweater I'm going to make, after I've tried everything, if it is itchy, that's my plan. So I hope this helps you out if you're dealing with an itchy sweater. And do go, if you wanna print up the steps and read it again, please go see Alyssa Goodman's article, How to Fix an Itchy Sweater. I'll include the link in the description and then you can fix your sweaters and make them totally wearable. All right, just as a reminder, check out Patreon on my website, rehashfiber.com, to donate a little bit each month to help with the programming. And also there's a lot of great merchandise there. All right, everybody, happy sweater fixing and thanks for watching.